Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and a couple years ago I released a product called the Creative Scroll Effect and a lot of you have been requesting a tutorial for Wix Studio. So that's what this is gonna be. We are going to be building this effect inside of Wix Studio. If you're interested in getting this for yourself then there's actually a link in the description to this and it's a really cool and very easy to set up effect inside of Wix Studio. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually head on over to Illustrator. Now, if you don't have Illustrator or any Adobe products, don't worry. There are other options. Like you can do this in Figma. You can probably even do this in like Canva or any other design software out there. But over here on the right hand side, this is gonna be like your color. So if your brand colors are, let's say a green, you can switch this easily to a green color and it'll work and you can export this and use this. Over here on the left hand side, this is gonna be the cutout where you put in your different icons. And before you export, the first thing you're gonna undo is hide this layer right here um, because this one is just so you can see the icons and how you're placing them. Um, but once you're happy with it, hide it, okay? And let's say we are happy with, these, with both of these. Then what we can do is go ahead and export. So I'm gonna select everything and press export selection. And what I want to do is actually just export the artboards. So we're gonna do artboard one and artboard two, and I'm gonna export them as both a PNG and I'm gonna export them as an SVG. So SVG is like a vector file and the PNG is like a image, right? So once we're happy with that, we're gonna go ahead and press export artboard. Perfect. Then what we're gonna to wanna to do is come back over to Wix Studio and I'm just going to simply add a brand new section and we can make this section, I'm just gonna make it 800 pixels for now, it's going to change. But now what I want to do is actually add a background image. So, so I'm gonna select the section and head on over to the media over here in the inspector panel. And here's where we're gonna upload those images that we use. Now for the background, I'm going to use this one right here and I'm just gonna press change background. Now this is what it's gonna look like. It's not pretty yet, but before we do anything else, what I want to do is come over to the background scroll effect and we're gonna set this to reveal. And what that's gonna do is it's going to allow us to scroll through the section and it's not going to move where it is, right? And that's kind of the effect as you can see behind it right here. Here, that's good. This is going to be the effect. So now on top of this, we can now place the other image. So we're gonna go down to media. We're gonna add the SVG file with our icons. And what I like to do is just go ahead and lock the aspect ratio. And I'm gonna set the width to be 100%. And I'm just gonna make sure we align it to the top. And just like that, we have the effect very, very easily. Now here is where we can now add, you know, our little text elements or whatever you wanna add next to it. I personally, once I add these, I like to then go into the effects and animations and add like a little float. That way, when we scroll down to it, it kinda of has that nice little reveal effect. The text kind of reveals itself in a nice way. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.